Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. We're getting close to the end of the year, and I wanted to kind of piggyback from the tip from last week. If you didn't check that out, please go ahead and do so because we talked about how can you distribute flow essentially to child records from a parent record to a child record and some of the feedback that i received from that tip was that you know that's something that you can do in flow pretty easily but you can't really do it with workflows there's no way for you out of the box with a workflow to say go ahead and run this on all the child records below that just doesn't exist within workflows but there is a tool out there that allows us to do that and that tool is called the ultimate workflow toolkit it was created by fellow mvp and really good friend andrew butanko and essentially what it does is that it adds a bunch of extra amazing functionality into workflows inside of dynamics 365 and cds and one of the things that it adds is the ability to essentially distribute workflows to child records below so that is the tip today so for this tip, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do something very simple, which is if we change some fields on an account record, I want to populate that information to the contact records below. So what I've done in this one is I actually created a, a workflow. Uh, let me show you here where that is. So here's the workflow that I created. So in this case, it's a very simple workflow. This is an on-demand workflow, and it's called Contact Update Fields from Account. And as you can see, it's a pretty easy check condition. If the contact status is active, meaning I can actually edit the contact, and the company name contains data, that means there's a company created, then I'm going to update a few fields in here like the website and address fields and stuff like that. That's essentially, you know, again, a super simple workflow that will update fields within a contact with information from the parent. But how can you trigger this workflow if something changes in the parent record, right? Well, let's start the countdown and let's go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm, I already started creating a workflow and these workflows are going to be real time just so I can justify not using flow for this one. So let's say this is real time workflows and I cannot use real time flows at the moment. So I have to solve this problem with workflows, but I want to distribute this to child records. So what do I do? All right. So the first step is I want to start with a check condition. As you know, we talked about this in a previous tip, and this is an easy one. So if the account address contains data or the account website contains data, now you can populate this with, you know, if you want to add phone numbers, you know, like business phone and mobile, you know, it, whatever fields you want to add. I, I just kept it simple for this one. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and add a step. So check out what the ultimate workflow toolkit does. Right below the out of the box tips or the out of the box steps, notice that we have a bunch of new steps now that are added with UWT Ultimate Workflow Toolkit. Now, inside the bulk operations section, there's a distribute workflows. Notice we can also distribute actions as well, but the one that I'm going to pick is distribute workflows. Now, in order for you to make this one work, you need kind of like a secret sauce you need to know the specific combination so the first one is pretty simple and and here's what i do i typically the first thing i do is actually check this one to true because this is a required field and i just want to get it out of the way i if something errors out on the first contact i just want to keep going down the line so i know that i'm always going to say true on that one so i always check this one to true then I go ahead and pick the workflow that I want to execute on child records below. So in this case will be contact. So I'm going to go ahead and start typing that and notice that it automatically resolves to that. Obviously, if you have a bunch of workflows, you probably want to use the lookup and narrow down the one that you want. I only have one that starts with the word contact. So that one was easy. Remember, this is a, a trial environment. For the record, this is what the one that most people get confused and the one that I remember I got confused a ton because there's not a whole lot of instructions on this one. All you have to do is select record URL. So if you go in here on the second drop down menu within the form assistant, scroll to the R's, right? And then you're going to find record URL. So let's keep going here. There it is. Record URL dynamics. So click on that. Add 
Okay, that's it. That's all you need there. And then for the third one, you're going to need the relationship name. So I already have it open here. Let's go into the relationship name. Where is that guy? Okay, there it is. So the name is already there, contact customer account. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So control C. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. And there it is. That's it. So all you need is name of the workflow, enter that record URL, and then the name of the relationship. So let's go and test it. I actually haven't tested this one. I'm doing it live with you guys, but I've done this so many times. Um, it works every time. So we'll see. If it doesn't work, I'm going to post anyway and let Andre deal with that. All right. So let's close this workflow here. Let's go test it. So let's just pick any account. Doesn't matter. Like a datum corporation is infamous a data corporation. All right. So here you go. It has some context below it. Let's go ahead and change something. So oh, I don't like that website. Actually, let's put Andrew's website in here. How about that? So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste that. Oop, that's a mess. Paste. All right. And obviously I can change the address too. So I'm going to say three, 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 uh miami avenue why not and city will be miami of course i'm just thinking of miami because it's cold here in atlanta today uh state is florida so i have fell the zip code i'm just gonna make something up 33133 and the country is usa all right so we update a bunch of fields there let's go ahead and save it boom real time all right, let's go check it out. Let's pick one of these. Tom O'Neill, why not? There it is. The website has been updated. The information on the address has been updated, which means that all of that was propagated. As you can see, it was almost instantaneous, right? Everything is in real-time workflows. Now, obviously, I only have a few contacts in there. And just so you can see, uh, go to the other contacts of Vincent. Same information, so you don't think I tweak this thing or I um, kind of trick you on this demo. It's all the same. So um, once again, it's it's only for context, so it works pretty fast. I don't recommend that you do this with you know a thousand or two thousand or ten thousand records in there. Uh, you can do a background process too, but you know I know there's a lot of people still out there using workflows and don't know that this is out there, right? The Ultimate Workflow Kit is super simple to use and super easy to propagate or distribute workflows to child records below. So I hope you enjoyed the tip this week and we'll see you next week.